Hey, Jack, this is uh, Shay Dixon. Congrats on uh, the big game. Uh, you've been more involved each week now. Um, what's your confidence level, and how much has it really grow, you know, grown over uh, your first three college games until tonight? Yeah, um, it's grown a lot, you know, especially with our coaching staff, all the kids on our team, you know, every day at practice, they're hyping everybody up, you know, the, I think, you know, the first two games were kind of flukes. I think, you know, everybody saw what we're made out of tonight. Uh, you know, we're going to put the country on notice and they're going to feel this. But personally, you know, I think my confidence has been going up uh, game by game, getting a couple more passes, showing out a little bit more. Um, I think that's helped a lot. But, um, you know, it's just a game uh, like I've been playing since I was f four or five years old. You know, it's catch the ball, run, run with the ball, score the ball, um, just go up and make plays. You know, it's the same thing. So, you know, keeping that in the back of my mind, uh, trying to block out the people watching. But, you know, I think uh, my confidence has gone up a good little bit. Yeah, hey Jack, this is uh, Glenn West with LSU Country. Um, you know, it really seems like you've developed a great rapport with Max. It really seems like he's targeting you on a lot of third down plays. Um, just, just talk about you know, the confidence you two have developed over the last couple of months and how that's really helped uh, lead into the season. Yeah, so me and Max, uh, we've been close since like I committed. Really, uh, we've been we like talked before I even got on campus. I was coming up here before uh, you know I even moved on campus just to like start getting to know Max, throw with Max, uh, you know, get touches in with him. Um, our, our, we have a really good chemistry and connection right now. We've just worked, you know, really hard on it all summer. Not only me, uh, but like the whole team, you know, we, we've grinded hard, we've worked hard, we put in a lot of time to this game. Um, but you know, it feels good to be one of those, uh, you know, guys that can really help the team and push them, uh, you know, and help us come out with wins. Hey, Jack, Wilson Alexander from The Advocate. Pleasure to meet you. You've sort of been, I guess, this hybrid tight end wide receiver role. How would you describe your skill set and how maybe it uh, is benefited by playing the sort of hybrid position that you play? Yeah, I think it really helps me out, you know, because I'm at this spot where, you know, it can either be a run or a pass. So, first of all, that really helps me, I feel like, you know, get open. Um, but, you know, I think just the the blocking part of it, I'm learning, you know, like game by game, day by day, practice by practice. I'm learning more and more, you know, we'll put in one, two more runs that week. But on the other side of things, you know, I'm a receiver. Grew up being a receiver. Never thought I would be this wide receiver, hybrid tight end position. But, you know, I am now, so I'm embracing it. You know, I like getting mean, nasty, and physical on the line, but I also like, you know, routing people up, going up and getting the ball when time is needed. So I've actually really enjoyed, like, growing into this new position. I feel like something that that's something that really, you know, like fits what I do. Um, so, you know, I've really enjoyed what, what they do with me and what we're continuing to do and improve on and put in in our offense. Hey, Jack, Jared Roser, Tiger Details. Uh, congrats for that. Big night. Take Thank us through you. that touchdown catch. Just kind of the, the focus, the haul that thing in, and then the the excitement and emotion of that moment. Yeah, just first, you know, like give it up to God. Without him, like none of that could happen. I know it's cliche, but like, and people say it all the time. But honestly, like I grew up, you know, pretty religious people. But like without him, you know, like none of this could happen. So like, and just shouting these this out right. This is like my motivation right here. This is like who I kind of do it for. But you know, on that catch, uh, you know, I wide departed him. I kind of sprayed him, um, and he ran with me. So I just tried to beat him with speed and kept gaining ground and widening him. Um, and you know, he Max threw the ball up, perfect ball, right where it needed to be. Uh, the the defender was holding my left hand, so I had to go up with one. And you know, I made things some things shake and bake, and I made it work. Um, and the excitement after play, it was it was surreal, you know, just being able to do that um, as an LSU Tiger in Tiger Stadium, second game at LSU. Um, all my teammates coming behind me, just hearing the crowd go crazy, it was surreal, a dream come true. Yeah, Jack, Ron Higgins, Tiger, right. How important was it for the offense tonight to play this well? Because the SEC starts next week, and it's kind of been a week to week struggle so far, but how, how how important was it to come out tonight and put all those points on the board? Uh, it was a momentum builder. Um, you know, we've been not really struggling, just like have been hitting everything we need to be hitting. But tonight, you know, like I said a little while ago, 
the they felt us, and we're gonna keep making people feel us. You know, we're gonna make every SEC team, t- uh, every SEC team we play feel us. Next week at Mississippi State, you know, we're gonna keep coming at them like we emphasized this whole week in practice was warp. We're gonna keep doing it. We're gonna keep going, keep going. Big play after big play after big play. We're gonna keep sending shots down the field and just going. Uh, you know, until the opponent. Uh, you know, gets tired, and we're just going to keep going because we work it so much and so often. Uh, it's an everyday thing for us, but it was just a huge momentum builder, uh, you know, and I think it, I think it's really going to help our football team out. And, you know, I think, we're gonna, I think we do have a damn good team, and we're going to keep building and improving.